so I want to talk about something that I haven't really been able to talk about yet on this channel, but haven't really been able to because of the nature of my content. It's these guys right here, acoustic panels. More specifically, Elgato wave panels. Quick disclaimer, if you're in the professional sound design space and you're looking for professional sound solutions, this is not the video for you. But if you're in the content creation and streaming space and you're looking for a simple, relatively cheap way of enhancing the sound and the look of your room, this might just very well be for you. So let's talk about these panels. Now, I'm not an audio professional, but what I do know about sound is that when you make a sound, like when you're streaming or creating content and you speak into your mic, what happens is those sound waves from your voice will go off and they'll hit a surface. Once they hit a surface, depending on how hard or soft the surface is, they'll then bounce off and then hit another surface. So if you have too many hard surfaces in your room, then the sound is just going to keep bouncing back and forth on those surfaces, and that's what creates reverb. And that's what you don't want. You need something to dampen those sound waves. It could be a piece of furniture, it could be a carpet, it could be curtains, or it could be acoustic panels that you have on your walls or on the ceilings. So on this wall, I have the Elgato Wave panels. Here, I have some cheap Amazon panels, and on this wall, I have more of the Wave panels. Now, these cheap Amazon panels, you can get a pack of 12 of them for about 20 US dollars. And to be honest, they're not the best. You're getting what you pay for. The Wave panels, on the other hand, they are about 100 US dollars for a pack of six. Now, that is a lot more expensive than these guys over here, but it's worth it. Let me show you why. The first thing that I love about the wave panels is just the way that you install them. Most panels will come just as the panel, and you have to figure out how to connect it to your wall yourself. But the wave panels actually come with their own framing system. And you build that framing system like you would build a Lego set, which is super fun. Once you've built the frame, you then connect it to the wall with either screws or command strips. And then once you have your first frame leveled and set where you want it, all the other frames will connect to that one with these little clips. And the cool thing is that once your frames are up, then you can rearrange the panels however you want them. And that is why I love the Wave panels. The framing system is fantastic to work with. The panels are thick, they're sturdy, they're premium. The colors are great. For that $100 range of acoustic panels, I think the Wave panels are the best. I know that sounds like I'm fanboying right now, but it's my honest opinion, it really is. Technically, you don't need acoustic panels to stream or create content. And if that's something that's keeping you from getting started, don't let it, just start creating. But if you're at that stage where you're ready to start enhancing the sound of your content, then getting rid of the reverb in your room is a really good place to start. You can go cheap, like I did at first, but I honestly recommend if you're able to, maybe wait a bit longer, save up, until you're able to get a more premium panel, like the Elgato Wave panels. Or do like I did, use both, you know, mix and match. Spice it up a bit. Anyway, hope that helps. <laughs>